which has to be in yes. And um, as you can see, everyone is working on different things. Over here we have um, a wash and blow dry getting done. We have um, a facial and we have hair colouring going on. A lot of things going on in the hair and beauty class. So you could look after me and you could do my hair as well? Anytime. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe my nails? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you don't want to go into hair and beauty, do you? You want to go no, into something else? No. Uh, after leaving um, my hair and beauty, uh, after leaving LC, uh, I want to go into childcare. And one time ago, I was supposed to, women were sitting at home with, uh, with the children, but now uh, times has changed and the women is coming out to work now. It's, it's a new generation, it's probably just starting to open up. Michael, when did you start to cook? Several, you know, five months ago I started when I started the centre. I, I, like, I, like, I like coming in every Monday and cooking. Do you think, in a way, cooking is for men too, not just for women in the home? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, you, have to, you, have to, you have to be fair, like, you have to do your share at home. So attitudes are changing? Oh, they're changing now, yeah, they're changing over the last couple of years. Like, there's no such thing now as uh, the woman doing the cooking in the house. You know, there's, the men have to give their, their share fair now as well, cook as well. The recession has also played a part in getting travellers back to school. Construction jobs were the staple for many traveller men as they required little, if any, education or qualifications. With construction work falling through the floor, some traveller men are now taking the big yeah. step to go back to class in an effort to broaden their horizons. I left school when I was 15 years old. Uh, I was always very, very disappointed with myself for leaving school and not completing my education. Why did you leave? Because it was part of my cu it, traveller culture is that young men, especially young men, uh, when they hit a certain age, they have to go out and have to start earning a living. Um, I hit that age, and 10, 15 years ago it was like that. You had to go out and you had to do that kind of thing. It, it, it's starting to change a little bit now. I, I yeah. was a block layer and labourer for a long time. Um, I was made redundant from being a block layer um, here inside in uh, Ennis. And since that has happened, it really made me think about reskilling and continue on my education. While I've been here, members of staff have made me aware of a college course going on in Minute. Um, I've applied for that course as in Newton community work at the very level. It's back to education facilities like these that are providing the chance for a better future for the traveller community in Ireland. When it comes to education and travellers, and sometimes travellers can get into trouble and they might leave school, what about yourself? I had left school, yes, when I was young. I got into trouble when I was young, yes. What happened? Uh, I went to prison for a while. What was prison like? Very bad. Wasn't nice. Did you get a hard time because of your travel heritage? Uh, in certain parts, yeah. But time passes on and you get older and you realise that you do things that shouldn't be done. And Why did they put you away? Uh, mostly blackguarding around town, messing with other fellas. Other fellas leading me to... It's kind of petty crime that kind of added yeah. up. Yeah, and just went led from there then, and I just decided to get married and settle down and then start travelling, or, and everything has been... So you feel like you've made your mistakes and yeah. life has turned round for you? Life has turned totally around for me, yes. The traveller community is currently at a crossroads. Modern Ireland is moving on without them, and if they are to play a role in Irish life, things need to change. The role of women and the importance of education are essential areas that need to be developed if things are to improve for the Irish traveller. Um, I think a, a lot of great things is going to happen within the future, within uh, the travelling community. You've got youth workers, you've got barristers, you've got members of the Gardaí. Next you're going to have a nurses, and next you're going to have doctors. So. All I can say is roll on the future. Me. Also, the Irish public has to be more open to the positive influence of travellers and move away from widespread beliefs that are generally misconceived. Their strength of faith and strong family values are to be admired. There are many misconceptions out there about the traveller community. How can this be changed? I think what you're doing right now is a major piece to this. And I think that I think by people talking to one another, people understanding one another, and people being acceptance and tolerant of indifference. Therefore, people need to understand more about travellers, and you'll find out they're not the monster that you might think they are. The Irish traveller can stick to their old way of life and be left behind by modern Ireland, or make changes which will give them the hope of a better future. Even though all these changes take place, some of these changes are for the better. We'll all change, we'll all adapt. 
but I think travellers will still exist as travellers in a mindset more so than anything else. Do you think I fit in? Do you think I could be a traveller? No, you're too soft. No, no. No, you, you can't be just become a traveller. Would you ever accept me? Could I ever be a traveller? Ah, yes. If we're I married very, one of you? We're very accepting people. You can never become a traveller. No, you'll always be a countryman. Could I choose my wife or would you choose it for me? I know, you'll have to get a bit of help from choosing her. Yeah, you wouldn't be clever enough to choose the right one.